working on a couple of easy DIY Christmas decor projects using drop cloth material. I did want the material to be a little bit darker, so here I am soaking it in some coffee water and I'll rinse it out, squeeze it out, and put it in the dryer. This is the pattern that I used uh, to create the stocking and I just freehand drew that. And for whatever reason, I don't have the footage of me cutting out the pattern, but basically I just traced the pattern and then cut this out freehand. And then I'm just stitching, just a simple stitch um, up and down all around the sides. And here I'm just putting in a little zigzag design on the top part of the folded over stocking. For the stitching, I am using an embroidery thread, um, so you can do this in any color that you want. You can use twine if you wanted to use that. Um, so there's lots of many different possibilities on the colors that you want to use. For the stamps, I'm using the IOD typesetting stamp, and I'm just going to stamp on a simple joy on the stocking. I then take this thicker roping that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm just making a simple loop and I'm going to wrap some twine around this to secure it together. I did put a little bit of uh, hot glue on there but didn't stay very well. Um, but I'm just going to wrap this around and then this will go as the loop inside of the stocking to hold it up. I do use uh, twine to sew this on, this loop on, so that it's nice and secure. So I just go in and out a few times underneath the little cuff here so you can't see the knot and secure it on tightly. And here's the finished uh, stocking. It looks a little bit rustic, but I like how it turned out. This next project is just a simple bag. And here I am just cutting it out. And the nice thing about this is that there's really, you don't have to be exact on your measurements or uh, you can just kind of eyeball it as you cut it. I'm going to do again a simple stitch around the sides using a twine this time. And other ones I do end up using uh, some embroidery thread. So I'm just going to go around the three sides and then um, I will stamp it with some IOD stamps and put a another uh, handle on it. So this stamp is from the IOD Mary and Bright collection and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this piece on and then the other uh, part of it is uh, Merry Christmas that's also part of this collection. You get several different stamps in this one page I guess you could call it and uh, yeah here I am just stamping it right in the middle. So again, I'm going to use this thick roping that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to uh, secure it in, stitch it in with the twine. So while making these, I decided that I wanted to make a whole bunch of them and give them away as Christmas presents. And what I decided to do was make a potpourri mix uh, that someone can use for a simmer pot or they can just leave it in their bag um, and hang it on the doorknob which so it smells really nice when people walk in the door. And on another video I show you how I dry the fruit and the pine cones and what I'm going to use to 
um, to put in the bags. I have some star anise, some cinnamon, some whole cloves, and I think they're just going to make a really uh, cute gift. So again, that's going to be in another video. I will uh, link it in the description below. So here I am just making a couple more bags, and uh, I think I ended up making about 18 um, all together. So this next project, um, I actually had this wreath that I I took apart because I wanted a piece of it for something else and so I ended up using uh, zip ties to kind of zip pieces of it back together and I cut strips of the uh, drop cloth and started to tie them around the wreath and then I also have some ribbon that I had picked up uh, at Michael's actually on sale I believe um, last year after Christmas and I'm just going to intersperse these thinner more I guess vibrant ribbons uh, throughout this wreath. Some of them are uh, shiny, like shiny gold, and there's like three or four different uh, ribbons that I intersperse throughout this whole project. Uh, this does take several hours to do, so be prepared to do a lot of cutting and a lot of tying. I ended up putting some, gluing some buttons on there and a little bow on top, and I really like how it turned out. It, it's really cute. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like and have a DIY day.